Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's gonna to be reviewing a Mazda CX-30 with a new paint job, ceramic. It's really cool looking. Anyways, before we get into this video, I wanna give a huge shout out and thank you to the Orima Mazda here in Orem, Utah for giving me some time with this CX-30. I'm going to include a link to their website in the description down below so you can check out what they have currently. And then on a side note, if you wanna save time and money the next time you purchase a car, link to my car buying guide in the description down below. Let's get into it. Under the hood, we have a naturally aspirated 2.5 liter four cylinder that goes through a six speed automatic transmission. Fuel economy is 26 around town and then 33 on the highway with power outputs being 191 horsepower and then 186 pound feet of torque. Now, before we move forward with this review, I do want to mention if you want to see more videos just like this, then I recommend you subscribe because I post content every single day. So starting with the hood, this is where you guys can see the new ceramic paint job. They've had this on other Mazdas, but this is the first time for the 30 and it looks really sharp. And then popping down below, we have the 30 signature headlight design and then look at the chrome trim here. Notice the grill has been blacked out with the Mazda logo front and center. And putting it all together with this fresh paint job, I think it looks pretty cool. Now around the side here, our tire wheel setup is 215, 55, 18 in the front and over in the rear. And you guys can see with the wheels completely blacked out. And then you've got these chunky fender flares. You can see the rest of the bodywork that continues along the side as well. And then notice the mirror caps blacked out and then you've got that chrome trim there around the bottom. And then here is the side view with the CX-30. Now here's quickly the key fob. We've got the Mazda logo there on the back and then you guys can see the unlock and lock function here on the side. And popping into the rear of the CX-30, you guys can see the cargo space isn't massive, but it's pretty spacious for the size of crossover that this is. And then we've got all the mats back here that of course say CX-30 on them. When you're all done, they give you a lock function back here and then this nice handle so you can just boop. Really cool tail light design and then you can see the rest of the badges here on the back and then you got the exhaust tips poking out the bottom. And putting it all together, let me know your thoughts on the overall look here with this CX-30. Now taking a look at the door panel, you guys can see here with the soft touch trim, really nice fit and finish as well. And then you can see good storage down below. And then taking a look at the seats, that soft touch finish continues. Legroom back here is pretty good. We've got some vents here in the rear. We of course have a cup holder armrest and then headroom back here, solid. Now take a look at the front door panel, soft touch here at the top, and then you've got nice padding down below. And I like this trim piece that goes across, that's pretty cool looking. Anyways, all of our window controls here, mirror adjustments. We do have blind spot monitoring with the mirrors too. And then taking a look at the front seat again, with all of that nice padding. The seat is manually adjustable. And then you guys can see we've got our hill climb assist with this. We also have that for the safety tech. And then more nice soft touch on the dash. Now take a look at the steering wheel, nice soft touch trim all around. Got some cool stitching on the center too. Adapter cruise control on the one side, volume and voice command controls on the other side, and then you got your regular stocks there on the back. And then we've got Mazda's triple gauge cluster layout here, which you can use to scroll through and see different bits of info on the car. And then we do have a sport mode that we can go into with the CX-30. In reverse, we do have a backup camera there with trajectory lines and resolution's pretty good. Now, as for the rest of the infotainment system, uh, just like other Mazdas, it's controlled via a dial. Uh, so it's not a touchscreen. Everything is with that whole dial setup, uh, which I think is pretty easy to use. I mentioned it before, but again, soft touch all over the dash and down below. Dual zone climate controls here. And I like the trim that goes across to the vents. And they got some good storage in the front. Really nice finish there on the shifter. And then you guys can see for the drive mode select, parking brake, auto hold, and then the controls for the infotainment system. And then with the center console, spacious, got some USBs inside. And then again, nice padding here. And then in the glove box, yeah, spacious as well. And then last but not least, we do have a manual mirror dimmer. So there's quite a bit of glare, so it's gonna be hard to see the window sticker, but this is a 2024 CX-30, and this is a select sport. Um, so this is more of a quote-unquote baseline CX-30. Anyways, total MSRP 28,610. And let's see how it drives. Let's talk about visibility before we set off. Here's visibility of the hood, both of the mirrors, which do have blind spot wandering throughout the rest of the rear. And CX-30 Sport away. So I want to do this package because this has the naturally aspirated engine 
and yeah see how this performs versus the turbo i will say i'm super impressed with mazda's <laughs> sport package here because you know again at this price point and everything you just don't expect to get the options this has and then the interior this has like this is very premium feeling uh, for the price point that it is at. Uh, when you're spending this kind of money, you're expecting cloth seats. Uh, usually, you know, sometimes dull zone climate, but not necessarily. And definitely not this, you know, interior feel with the materials and everything. So, good job, Mazda. Smooth. I really do like the smooth feel that this provides with the ride quality. And it's quiet too. Which is nice. Seats are comfortable. Turn signal sounds kind of cool. It's got like a chunkiness to it, as weird as that is to say. Kind of get on in a little bit more here. Yeah, good. I mean, again, good get up and go. That's a nice move. Oh, I think we got lucky here. Yes, we did. We'll take full advantage of it. It's really just in kilometers. Anyways, <laughs> aside from this being in kilometers instead of good old miles per hour, freedom units, right? Uh, it's It drives well. It does, it does drive well. So in terms of this, you know, more entry level package, I'm super impressed. I love what Mazda's doing. They're offering really good value to their customers at a very affordable price point. And you know, in terms of this engine, I've seen some complaints from people with the auto stop start or whatever. I think I think they had auto. Was it auto stop? Let's see if they have auto stop start. Auto hold, because usually there's a button to turn it off. Or is it cylinder deactivation? I can't remember. I review too many cars in a day, people. Anyways, I know some people have complained about some one of those one of those two things. Had it. <laughs> Someone's gonna comment down below and, and uh, help us out here. But regardless, I think it performs well. And if you, I guess, if you don't want to deal with any of that, then just get the turbo version, right? Anyways, let me know what you guys think about this version of the CX30. Let me know what you think about this color on the CX30.